Hello, my name is Willie Fritz. I'm the head football coach at the University of Central Missouri. I want to thank American Football Monthly for allowing me to come down here to sunny Florida and visit with you about a phase of the football game that I think goes unnoticed from time to time, but I think is the most important phase in football, and that's the special teams. At the University of Central Missouri, we like to call the special teams the special forces. I've got great respect and admiration for the, our armed forces, and uh, I tell our kids all the time that we need to represent the armed forces in the, the right manner, and we try to do that with our special forces at UCM. We kind of use this quote for our guys. Uh, Every man has some fear of those who don't are in a mental institution around the UCM Special Forces. We want some guys that are able to, to play with uh, reckless abandon at times. But we also need guys that are dependable players who can run and hit. But our guys seem to enjoy uh, this statement that we have. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the kicking game and why it's so important. Uh, obviously, it's the largest change in field position. Uh, including offense and defense. Uh, it occurs in the kicking game, so we make sure that we uh, pay a lot of attention to that area. The ability to force turnover, score points, and not hit our opponents. We are an aggressive type kicking game. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about statistics here in a while, uh, but I don't think you want to be conservative in the kicking game. You want to play very aggressively. You want to make big plays happen in the kicking game. Uh, the head coach must support this belief. Obviously, I do a great job of doing that at Central Missouri because I am the head football coach there. But if your head coach does not support the kicking game, you're going to have a hard time emphasizing that area to your players. So uh, whatever level that you're on, uh, whether it's uh, Little League, uh, junior high, high school, college, professional football, the head coach better have some uh, background in the kicking game or he needs to show support to the coaches who are running the kicking game. I was very fortunate. I'm a coach for a man by the name of Dick Foster at Coffeyville Community College back in the late 80s, early 90s. and He was a big proponent of the kicking game. Didn't really involve himself in it, but set in all the meetings and made sure that I had plenty of time to run the kicking game. And the same thing with Ron Randleman. I played for Ron Randleman in college at Pittsburgh State University and then coach for him at Sam Houston State. And coach Randleman let me run it and have enough time to run the kicking game. Uh, but he also would be involved and, and sit in on all the meetings, and, and it really rubbed off on the kids the importance of the kicking game. Here are some things that I think provide the winning edge as far as the kicking game is concerned. Uh, number one, I think it's very important to work against pressure on all kicks. You do not want your kickers and your punters to go out on Friday night or Saturday, and the first time they see a lot of pressure is that evening. We work against pressure almost on a daily basis at Central Missouri so that our kickers are acclimated to those pressure type situations and uh, are now worried about pressure and able to zero in and the task at hand, whether that be punting or kicking the football. You need to coach technique as well as scheme. I think some coaches do a very poor job in this area. All they worry about is the schemes as far as the kicking game is concerned, but uh, they don't uh, uh, do that uh, in their other phases, offensively and defensively. They do a great job of working technique. We try to do that as well in the kicking game. Uh, a quick story that I'll tell you.